Alright guys, back at you with the little uh, segment I'm doing. So I got week one of BMT here. Um, basically the way BMT works is on Sunday starts day one of the new week. So on the Sunday after, uh, the first Sunday you get there starts week one. Uh, so you get to go to church. Um, that's kind of cool because it gets you out of like the BMT area for a while. They got a bunch of different churches you can go to. They've got um, atheist, Christian, Catholic, uh, Buddhist. I mean, they have like a bunch of, they have pretty much one for everyone. So a bunch of different ones you can go to. Um, basically, it's like uh, this is your first Sunday there, so the MTI is going to be there with you the whole day. But every Sunday after this, you will be on your own for that Sunday. So you, you'll have one day every week where you don't have to be with an MTI. So that's kind of cool. Um, yeah, you get to do, uh, basically we did, uh, went to church, came back, uh, cleaned everything, did all of our details and everything. Um, so I got latrine duty, which is basically cleaning the bathrooms. Uh, it's not too bad. The, um only thing is uh for me it was nice because i just went and i did go and clean the showers make your job cleaning the showers it's one of the easiest jobs in there you could possibly do another pro tip for latrine crews that you can pass on to anybody else even if you're not in latrine crew is baby oil buy some baby oil when you get there because everything is stainless steel there and it is super hard to clean and they want it spotless like no fingerprints no nothing but um baby oil will just put baby oil on a, a paper towel wipe it all down and you'll be good to go you'll never have to worry about that again it'll clean it all up like perfect um basically uh yeah you do that for the day and then you just roll and fold all your clothes uh get it you know looking super good uh, you clip all your strings and everything because uh, all your clothes that you got issued have strings on them or hanging off them and strings are no go. You can't have strings anywhere on any of your uniforms. So that's a big thing right there. And then you can start um, and then you can start to uh, write letters on that Sunday also. And then uh, day number two is your first Monday. <laughs> And uh, it's a 5 a.m. wake up. You go straight into doing uh, like your details first thing in the morning. And then uh, on this day we went and we did our hearing test. We did our uh, dental exam. Uh, where they basically all they did was take x-rays, that was it. Uh, and then we did our glasses exam too. So this is gonna be for them to get you BMT issued glasses. Uh, right after and then this was also the first day that we started doing EC duty on our own which is entry controller basically you just uh, you, you just pretty much just stay there for a uh, pretty sure it was yeah it's a two hour shift that you stay there and you basically let people in let people out uh, mark down who's going where stuff like that so that way uh, everybody's accounted for stuff like that it's not too bad everyone makes it seem really bad but it's really not um, and then uh, pretty much that's all we did that day and then uh, day three uh, you go and you do your strength uh, we went in doing a strength day the way PT works is you do it six days a week and it alternates between run day and strength day run day strength day back and forth so basically you get up you do your best your duties your details and then uh, basically the way PT days work are you wake up first thing you do your beds and then once you get done with your beds you go down to do PT you do your PT you come back up you shower you change and then you do details and then once you get done with details then you end up starting your day and you go into uh, more things there and uh, on this day we went and got shots and more shots and pills. Um, and then we uh, had a weapons class and then we went outside and 
disassembled and reassembled uh, the uh, M M16 and uh, basically learn how to take it apart, put it back together. So that was kind of cool. Um, pro tip for beds is the first day, first time you get a chance to go to the BX, make sure you buy, uh, for sure, buy um, baby oil for the trains if you're the train crew. And then get a clipboard because clipboards will save your fingers and your knuckles when it comes to making beds. And once you get there, you will understand why it will save you. That's for sure. Then uh, every the next next comes up a Wednesday. Every Wednesday you have linen exchange, so you have to strip your beds down, set them up a totally different way, uh, so that way they can take all the linen out, give you fresh new linen. You'll see how that all goes. So then we went on to doing records and processing, uh, basically just paperwork, stuff like that. We went and got our military IDs done, and we went over insurance and everything, health, dental, life. Um, also, if you're married, this is the time where they give you all, like a whole big packet of nothing but just everything you, your wife needs to get her dependent card, to get her health insurance, all that stuff. So they give you a big old package, so then you can just send that to them. You can just mail it to them, and then they have everything they need. Uh, this was also the first day <clears throat> where they took us to the dry cleaner, and they make you turn in one set of ABUs. But uh, this is basically introducing you to the dry cleaner, so if you want anything dry cleaned, that's where you'll go and get it done. Basically just telling you how to do it. Then we went into a few classes after that, just like little things, and uh, did our first mail call, which was, trust me, mail call's awesome. And then we went into Airman's Time, which Airman's Time is basically just uh, yeah, all of you sitting down with your MTI, and you all just kind of talk about, you know, what's going to be going on for the week, uh, you know how you guys are performing stuff like that it, it's a nice time where the MTI kind of takes off the MTI hat and kind of uh, talks to you more normal but it's only for that that set like hour out of the day then you go into the next day and it's back to uh, strength day we had some more classes did our fire drills and this is the time where you are no longer a sneaker weaker because on that Wednesday, you have now officially broken in your boots, and you get to wear your boots all day, every day now, which is actually nice because you get kind of tired of doing that. Plus, uh, during week, around this time on week one, you'll start actually getting protein bars because since you're PTing, they give you protein bars. So then you get like a snack that you get to eat at 1900, so that's kind of cool too. Just a little extra something really and then uh yeah you do mail call every night and errands time every night for the rest of your time in bmt and then uh that friday we had our first pt test which is just all it is is just a to see where you're at and see you know because if you score way too low they're going to put you in kind of like a remedial kind of uh, PT deal where the it's extra PT you have to do to get you in shape to be able to pass the test and then you do the same thing go right in the showers and everything like that um, but this is when uh, we went outside and actually watched the later weeks um, do their parade and retreat ceremony practice out on the drill pad so that was really cool to be able to just go see it because then you're, you know I'm just kind of like alright that's going to be me in like you know quite a few weeks that'll, that'll be me soon enough so you get to kind of see it and see like how far they they are compared to how you guys are so you kind of gives you like a little thing to be able to <clears throat> know what you're going to end up looking like so it's kind of cool um Plus, now what you do is you do uh, you do dust downs and details uh, twice a day. So you do it in the morning, and then you do it at night. Um, and that's like all this week, you kind of get in the way of that. And then uh, the next, uh, that Saturday on week one, 
we went to the BX for the first time. So that was when we were able to kind of pick up our own stuff. So this is when I would recommend picking up the baby oil, the um, uh, clipboard, and uh, this is the time where you can kind of buy your own soap and your own um, <clears throat> your own soap, your own deodorant, stuff like that. You can kind of buy more of the stuff that you want. So that's kind of makes it nice. Um, so you can kind of instead of just having all the stuff that they give you, or just the stuff that you bring with you, which is another recommendation. Um, See, so yeah, I I went in there with nothing but just the clothes on my back because I kind of was led to believe that you didn't need to take anything because you were getting issued everything the next day. My recommendation would be to take at least three changes of clothes because it might take three days before you actually get your uh, uniforms and everything issued to you. So you're going to need some clothes to change into prior to that. Um, you can bring your own, uh, well you can't bring your own soap because you're going on a plane, but you can bring your own deodorant if you want your own deodorant. Uh, but when you do bring your phone, bring your phone and bring a charger for your phone because you're going to need that charger when you're in BMT. For whenever you make a phone call, you're going to need that charger for your phone. Uh, other than that, I mean, that was pretty much everything for the week, uh, except on that first Saturday, and this will be for every Saturday from here on out, you do basically all marching movements in the morning. That's, like, all you do on Saturdays. See, like, now you're actually learning how to march and all the movements and everything, but once you get into the later weeks, you actually start doing just parade and retreat practice. Here, you're just doing learning how to do everything is basically what you're doing and then they give you uh, pretty much you get early time about every day so you'll be able to